Hey, Ancestral Witch here, Yasmina from AncestralWitch.com. And if you like my content, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and smash that bell that should be underneath, like right next to the subscribe. So that way, you can get notifications when every single video comes up. Now, the biggest mistake that um, people that are new to the craft are making um this is the mistake that i have felt you know victim to as well so when i'm speaking over here it doesn't necessarily mean that um i'm speaking down to anybody i've just been there done that so that one is is always and i know i speak on this a lot and it's not just about answers it's about you because you would be always looking for um what is that most powerful herb I need a better uh, spell I need like candles I need everything what is the most powerful of everything triple strength how strong is it uh, even <laughs> even now I get questions of how strong is your oil what can you put in there to make it even stronger <laughs> nothing nothing um, what you can put in there to make it stronger is your intent, your power, your ashe, your, you know, spirit. That's what makes stuff um, powerful. That's what makes the spell powerful. That's what makes the concoction, whatever the hell it is that you're making, um, powerful. Um, I mean, of course, you know, every single herb has, you know, different characteristics and all this stuff that will add to it. Yes. But what I'm saying is that your personal power will empower that herb uh, in order for it to do what it needs to do. Um, so the biggest mistake that personally I have made while I was um, growing and researching and trying to find my path is not investing anything in myself. Uh, I was more um, focused on reading books and reading forums and... Um, and the forums were not that populated at that time. It was not like it's now. Um, so, yeah, trying to gain stuff like that instead of investing in myself and meditating and getting a personal um, information. So, that's that from me. I hope it helped.